Okay, so here's a clip to show you guys how to print on the 4880, the Epson 4880. Um, start off with the file, it's on the jump drive. First thing you want to do is make sure you copy that file off the jump drive. Print, it will print a lot faster. So go ahead and copy it to the desktop. When we're done, go ahead and delete that, throw that away on this lab computer. So got that file copied over, opened it. Um, you may have some layers, some other things. I would recommend that you flatten your file. Uh, and typically, it's better to print out of an RGB color mode. So I won't get into the color modes and everything else, but that's the process. Copy your file to the desktop, open it up, flatten your file. We won't need to save it. If you want to save it, you can. I would recommend changing the name. At that point, go to File and Print to open up the Print dialog box. A couple things going on here. First thing you want to do is make sure it says Photoshop Manages Color. At that point, we want to pick our profile. For this one, make sure it says the Pro 4880. Pick the PLPP. In this case, don't use the one with the number on it. The number would re refer to a roll. We don't use a, a roll on our 4880. So go ahead and pick PLPP, which is Premium Luster Photo Paper. The other common one we use is Enhanced Matte Paper. Uh, the PK stands for Photo Black. The MK stands for Matte Black. So those are the ones typically used in our area. So we'll pick the PLPP. Once you have those set, you want to make sure that this is set to the printer that you want. In our case, we have a 3800, so you want to make sure it's on the 4880. Once that's there, you can go ahead and hit the Print Settings dialog box. If we wanted to, we could click Landscape here, um, and then click the Print Settings dialog box. Either way, we can get that. From there, we're going to go ahead and select the layout and pick Printer Settings from the pop-up menu. So on this one, we want it to be the paper tray, where it's the photo paper. You want to make sure you pick, for some reason, that one is not letting me select it. Um, typically, if this is grayed out right here, because we want this paper down here, that's because this setting's wrong. So instead of U.S. letter sheet maximum, we want to change that just to the plain U.S. letter. And that should allow us to access the profile we need here. So the media type, you want photo paper for this one, ultra premium photo paper luster, they add the ultra in there. This one up here refers to a roll once again, so we'll pick that one. If you were doing the matte paper, enhanced matte paper, that's where you would select it. So in this case, we're going to go to the ultra photo paper luster. If this gave us an option, we'd want to turn this, this one right here to off no color management and we'll uncheck high speed. Go ahead and cl click save at this point. We don't need to do finest detail. That's an option for later. So once you've got that selected, you can actually adjust your image. If you need to do a proof, you want to uncheck center image. Make sure the bounding box is selected. So then you can resize that. Um, just be aware if you print a test print and then you come back in and resize it later, it does have a bug sometimes where it looks pixelated. So you can change that. You can also check scale to fit media. In this case, we're just going to print it at 100%. Uh, center the image and we should be good. And then once you have that set, make sure you put your paper in the printer the correct way. On the 4880, that would be face down in the tray. So make sure it's in there, loaded and you can hit print.